Okay, so one thing um, I'm trying to work on my videos is the thumbnails for the videos. I'm trying to smile a little bit um, before the video starts and after it ends <laughs> and a little bit throughout it because I'm not sure exactly when it takes the thumbnail and a lot of my videos look like I'm either in a lot of pain or um, that I'm like in mid rage um, and they only give you so many suggestions for a thumbnail so um, yeah I um, I haven't gotten too much into um, the videos and how to edit them um, so um, I used to have a movie maker to where I could edit films and whatnot and I was actually really proficient at it um, and I would do that before I'd upload anything and um, I don't have that software anymore so um, I'm dealing straight with just recording it and then uploading it to YouTube so yeah um, that's why when you see my videos, there's weird poses in the thumbnail for those videos. Um, so it's one thing that I'm trying to tweak a little bit and see um, what it does. Um, another thing is, is I'm trying to keep my videos shorter. Um, at least below a half an hour. <laughs> um, I know that I'm probably losing your interest after I rant for a half an hour. Um, I'm going to try to keep them between 15 minutes to a half an hour, just depending on what exactly I'm talking about. Um, if I need to, I'll break them up into different videos or what have you. Um, right now I'm in my room and I'm, I'm talking a little low, um, because my boyfriend is trying to sleep for work. Um, so anyways, to update you, um, a little bit and... I've made myself notes <laughs> so I can stay on track and not go off track and start rambling and stuff. So hopefully I can keep this video short. This is a test for that. Um, so to update you, um, yesterday I woke up and now keep in mind this past week since I took that ibuprofen, um, I've not hardly been able to use uh, primarily my left leg. It's been almost um, dead weight. I can still feel it, I can still move it, but as far as standing or lifting it to um, move it off of the couch, um, instinctively, whenever I go to get up, I would automatically just reach my hand down and grab it. For some reason, yesterday, I didn't do that. Um, I just got up. Um, which was really weird, um, but after a few steps, I started feeling really dizzy, um, like drunk dizzy, um, and I've not been that dizzy in a very, very long time. I've not had to take my meclizine, which is for dizziness, in a very long time. Um, so I thought, well, you know, let me use the bathroom, because my main purpose is getting up. Let me get a drink, and maybe if I eat, I'll feel better. Because um, I went ahead and took a meclizine, and I felt nauseous. And before I took a Zofran, I thought, well, let me eat, see how I feel. So I went to the kitchen, and of course I took my walker with me. I don't know why. Because you can't carry shit and carry a walker with you. And I fell in the kitchen. Um, just because of how busy it was. I mean, it's like, I literally felt like I was drunk without being drunk. So it's not like I fell and I was like, oh, ha ha. I was like, and I fell and I'm like, oh shit. Um, so after I finally got up and I have all hardwood floors throughout my house, all my floors are hard. So, um, my knees really hurt <laughs> because the only way I can get up is to get on my knees and then lift myself up. So my knees really hurt. Um, they hurt 
even before then. Um, I wanted to make something clear, even though um, I was able to use my legs. My legs still hurt. It just, it's not dead weight. Um, so I grabbed me a drink and um, a pudding cup. That was the first thing I saw. So I was like, okay, I'm grabbing it. And I was going to grab my blood pressure cuff, but after I fell, I was like, no, I'm just I'm grabbing this. I'm, I ran to the couch and, and sat down. And, um, yeah, uh, I ended up falling probably about four more times yesterday just, just because of dizziness. Um, I, um, fell in the shower. <laughs> Luckily, I fell into my shower chair. <laughs> So it wasn't that far of a fall, and Andrew was in the bathroom to help me. So, um, but then as the night progressed, I, I was feeling fine. Um, we took a little bit of a drive, um, which felt nice to get out of the house. Um, as we were getting back, um, you know, and, and the dizziness was even when I was laying down. Even when I was laying down, I felt like I was falling. Even when I was sitting down, I felt like I was falling. Um, but I just kind of like shook it off. It, it only scared me when I was standing up because, you know, I was afraid I was actually really going to fall. And I knew that that was an actual thing that could happen. Um, the meclizine didn't help. Um, as we were getting out of the car, to come back in the house last night. My, t my chest started getting really, really tight. Um, I started getting tightness going into the shoulder and then all of a sudden into my back. Um, and I, it was like I couldn't catch my breath and I started seeing black spots like I was going to pass out. And he helped me to the, the steps right on the sidewalk and I sat there. I took my blood pressure and it was a little off. Um, it was a normal blood pressure as far as the numbers go, but they were really close together, um, which didn't make sense to me. Um, so I waited a minute to get it again, and my pulse was really, really high. It was um, 127, and I was sitting down. And I've been sitting for, for at least five or six minutes. Um, and before that, I was just sitting in the car. I mean, uh, and I walked two feet to the steps to sit down. Um, and then um, I took my blood pressure on my, on my right arm and finally got an accurate blood pressure. So, um, however, the faint feeling and the blacked out vision got really, really bad. And I said, okay, we, we got to go in. We, I, I got to lay down. I got to do something. And as he was trying to get me in, I kept falling down because I was, like, fighting it. Like, I was passing out. And I was passing out, pretty much. And I was fighting it. And um, he finally got me in and helped me. And once I laid down um, for a few minutes, and for some reason, I don't know why, I was so thirsty. Um, he gave me a drink, and I just remember sucking on that straw. And I just, like, couldn't get enough. Like, I just was so thirsty. And, um, so, after laying down for a little bit, I was fine. I was still dizzy as shit. I mean, I kept, like, moving around, like, trying to grab on the stuff. And he thought it was funny. He was like, I know it's not funny. He's like, but if you were actually drunk, it would be funny. I'm like, yeah, I know. But if I was actually drunk, I'd be laughing about it. Um, another point I wanted to bring up. Um, since I've been sick, um, I mean, I've always had an issue because I've, I've always had thick hair. Um, my hair sheds a lot. Um, but as you can see, my hair is really thin. Um, since I've been sick. Um, my hair has, had started to shed a lot more frequently and a lot more. Um, and then I started getting 
you know, some people say these aren't bald spots. Well, when you have thick hair, you don't normally see your scalp. I'm not used to seeing my scalp. And I used to part my hair down the middle. And now you see why I don't. Um, I'll get a little closer. Um, that's why I part it on the side. And now it's even getting kind of, I have to switch sides sometimes. And that's why I usually always wear my bandana. Um, that's why I was, I first time bleached my hair. Um, just to get all the color out so it would blend. And then after that, so it wouldn't, you know, I know lightning and hair damages it. But I know, and I know bleaching was like, you know, totally damaging. Um, but instead of using bleach to dye it, um, or to lighten it, I would just use the bond, um, to lighten it. Um, which gave it the same effect without as much harshness. I know it's still harsh. Or anybody says anything. I know it's still harsh on it. But it's not as harsh as the bleaching kit. You know, it's kind of lesser of two evils. Um, because it blends into my scalp. So it doesn't look like I'm balding. So, you know, if I want to go a day and I'm in a rush. And I just need to walk out the door. I can. Um, instead of putting my hair up and rolling up the bandana and putting it on and whatnot. Um, whenever I get in the shower and put the conditioner through my hair, now it's, as I'm doing it, I'm getting globs of hair. Um, that's not normal. That's, that's just recently. I've never had that before. Now when I brush my hair, you know, I have to keep cleaning the brush out, whether it's wet or dry. When my hair is wet, I can sit here like this and just keep pulling hair out. I'm actually doing it right now while it's dry, but it's even worse when it's wet. Um, so it's getting really bad. And what scares me is, at first, I thought it was the damaged hair, because a lot of it that I was getting in the shower was blonde. Um, but now, the, the light brown that is my roots, that will eventually turn a strawberry blonde once I start going outside more. Um, now, in the shower, it's a lot of brown hair that I'm getting to. And I don't know if you'll be able to see with this camera you probably won't I've got baby hairs right here I've never had baby hairs right here so it's like that hair had come out and now it's regrowing and it's like all frizzy and shit I've not had that before I don't, I don't know what's going on. So, my mom said that I can ask for there's a certain pill for alopecia, um, because my, you know, my eyebrows have also lightened and um, thinned out quite a bit. Um, I stopped plucking almost altogether. I, I literally just pluck the rogue ones. Um, I don't even hardly shape my eyebrows anymore at all. I just pluck the rogue ones. Um, I, I even, I, I quit even shaping my eyebrows now. Um, because they're thinning and lightening. Um, and my eyebrow, my eyelashes, a few of them have lightened as well. Um, so that's one thing I'm going to bring up to the doctor. Um, I'm not sure how much, I meant to check my last video to see how much, um, I'm pretty sure I described how Dr. Johnson had moved to New York, but, um, the Evergreen Clinic, um, they called me back, they do have a doctor there who understands the whole flux situation, and I have an appointment with them on Tuesday, 
I'm not completely sure if I'm going to be able to see them on Tuesday because of money issues. I'm going to have to see if there's a co-payment. My insurance likes to switch things up on me. Um, if there isn't a co-payment, then I'll be able to see him um, Tuesday. If there... Um, so, yeah. I'm hoping to see him Tuesday. There, um, I quit taking my potassium and magnesium, and I know that's probably part of my problem. There's a lot of peas. Um, because I wanted a baseline of what my body needs um, before I start this diet. Because I'm going to kind of make my own basic diet of basic things that I know my body can handle and add in foods that will give me what my body needs and then I will take a supplement to give me what my body naturally needs because this basic diet is not going to give me all of the nutrition that I need. Um, so I will need a multivitamin. However, I need to see what my body is already deficient in. Which I already know it's deficient in magnesium and potassium. But I want to see how low it is um, without me taking the supplements. Because that's the problem is, is every time they test it, I keep telling them I'm on a supplement. And they're like, oh, it tested normally. You're fine. I'm like, I'm on a supplement. How about you take me off of it for a week and then test me? And see if maybe there's a problem because you're not putting into the equation that I have low potassium as a, as a symptom because I'm having to take a supplement to keep me from having low potassium and still even with the, with the supplement it is barely normal like it is like two points over the normal level like it is so low on the low scale of normal with taking the supplement. So I want a baseline of everything. I have a list of all of the labs that I want. I'm hoping this doctor will understand where I'm coming from and order all these labs. Um, cause I need a baseline and I need a recheck of everything. And, um, 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 get everything in check and see what's returned, what's returned to normal, what's going on there. I'm also going to call my, um, my cardiologist. Um, I'm not supposed to have a checkup with them until six months after it was implanted. However, I need to know if they've been getting any flags. Um, of any sort. I've been having dizziness yesterday. Today I'm still dizzy, but it's um it's not as bad as yesterday. It comes and goes. Um I don't know why all of a sudden I had an northern accent. Um it comes and goes. Um my legs, um, I can use my legs today, so I'm not going to complain. They, they hurt really bad. Um, but, I mean, that's normal. Everything hurts really bad. So, I mean, I'm, I'm used to that. I'm completely out of pain medicine. Um, pain management still hasn't contacted me. Um, my, my, uh, appointment is the 13th, and it's now the 5th. And they were supposed to get me a prescription to last me until my appointment on the 13th and they haven't called me so thanks you guys are awesome um so I've covered everything except for one other thing my weight loss my weight's been an issue um my normal weight is about 130 if I lose it the right way I look okay um when I first got sick sick, I lost it because I was sick. <laughs> and I got down to 130. And I did not look good. Um, I looked like Skeletor. 
uh, for the most part. Um, even though I still had a little bit of jelly rolls and all that fat, you know. Um, but because I had lost it so quickly, I did not look good. And that is my fear because in the past week, I have dropped exactly 10 pounds. And that is exactly how it happened the first time. Um, with the second um, episode, I started gaining weight. And within a matter of a month, I gained 40 pounds. Um, and within a matter of about six months, I had gained um, about 74 pounds um, altogether from the 130. Um, and now um, I would started losing it. I went from 206 to um, in the 180s. I got down to 180, and I've been fluctuating between 178 to 184. That's where I've been staying, depending on how much movement I can do, depending on what I eat, depending on what time of the month it is, yada, yada, yada. Um, the last time I weighed myself, I was 184. Um, I was even 184 at the doctor's office was surprised the hell out of me that the doctor's office scale actually matched my scale at home. Um, that was a big surprise. Um, and um, I actually weighed myself several times, um, not last week, but the week before I had weighed myself and I was right at like 184, 185. And um, I just weighed myself again, and I'm, um, I think it said 174.1. So, um, and then once I used the bathroom and everything, it said 173.9. So, I've, I've lost 10 pounds, almost 11, whatever. Um, I think it's even safe to say 11, because... Usually when I weigh myself, I'm naked. This time when I weighed myself, I even though I just used the bathroom, I was fully dressed. So, um, I mean, I'm glad to be losing weight. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm not going to really start worrying about it until I get down to... Probably about um, 150, maybe 145. That's when I'm going to start worrying about it. Um, if I if I keep losing it at this rate, um, because last time, luckily, whenever I I lost the weight, I stopped at at 130. I don't know what made me stop, but I stopped because I was getting worried. I'm like, well, fuck, how much? Am I going to lose? Um, um, but I just didn't look good. And everybody thought I was on drugs. And a lot of rumors got started. <laughs> and um, it was just a bunch of bullshit that I had to go through on top of being sick. Um, I'm like, no, I've been laying in bed. <laughs> I've not been able to make any drug runs. I can't even make prescription drug runs to the pharmacy. Um, so, um, um, once I hit in the 140s, that's when I'm going to start to worry and talk to my doctor about maybe some kind of nutritional supplements. Um, even whenever I do go on this certain diet, um, I usually use Atkins shakes um, because they fill you up. And um, unlike Slim Fast, um, they're not full of calories and, and such. They're very low carb and low calorie and, and all that good stuff. Um, and that's why I like the Atkins shakes. However, they're loaded 
with chemical chemicals uh, aspartame and you know everything that you're not supposed to have um, so I have to stay away from the Atkins shakes which is my my vice whenever I go on a diet um, or whenever I change my diet rather I don't want to say go on a diet whenever I change my diet um, because I know which ones I like and um, I know where to get them I know how much they are and um, you know I, I know what the contents are I know what the nutritional value is and yada 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 um, but because of the synthetic chemicals and everything that's in them they are very very bad for you <laughs> Um, you know, um, I'm also going to have to give up all of my sodas, um, because I have to cut down on sugar, but I can't go to my diet because that has aspartame, so it's going to be water, um, and it's going to have to be non-chlorinated, non-fluoride, just spring water or distilled water or whatever. Um, so, um, I'm still in the research, um, part of this, um, I want to make sure that I have all my P's and Q's before I start this. Um, last time I thought I did, and I went to the store and was frustrated as hell because I thought I knew what I was doing and I thought I knew what I needed to get, and when I got to the store, I couldn't find half the shit I needed for one. Um, and for two, I realized how limited I was. And with how my teeth are, that also limits me. So, um, I'm really going to have to talk to this doctor about this. Um, and that's why I'm going to modify it for myself and go on a very basic diet, I'm thinking, um, mostly, even though a lot of boxies go on a non-gluten diet, um, non-grain diet, non-whatever, I'm thinking oatmeal, um, whole grain type things, um, and, um, you know, I may use organic um, non-processed sugar, um, which I still have from the last time I did this diet, because that was on the list of okay things to use sparingly. Um, I can have, um, this type of Irish butter that is, um, natural organic butter, um, so I can use that. Um, I'm going to keep dairy in my diet. Um, it's just some things I'm, I'm going to keep little things, I'm, I'm not going to keep a lot of dairy in my diet, I'm going to keep a little bit, um, I crave dairy, I've always had dairy, I've never had a problem with dairy, some foxes do, um, I've never had a problem with dairy, um, I, when I was pregnant, <laughs> I craved milk, I would drink milk by the gallons, um, so I have always loved milk. I have loved cheese, cottage cheese, cream cheese, yogurt, anything, sour cream. I can sit here and just eat sour cream out of the, out of the jar or out of the thing. I, I just buttermilk everything. I love anything to do with dairy. So I cannot cut dairy completely out of my diet. Um, so I'm going to talk to this doctor about my diet and see what I should and should not do. Um, and that's also to keep me from losing weight too quick. Even though it's nice that I'm losing weight. I, I, I really like that I'm losing weight. I don't want to lose weight too quick because that is also very harmful for your body. Um, because I don't know what I'm losing. Um, I don't know if I'm losing water. I don't know if I'm losing fat. I don't know if I'm losing muscle. And whatever I am losing, I don't know what it's taking with it. I don't know if it's taking toxins with it. I don't know if it's taking um, good bacteria. I don't know if it's taking yeast. I don't know if it's 
and you know, and then again, I don't know what's leaving. I don't know if it's leaving the toxins with me. I don't know if it's leaving the yeast. I don't know if it. So there's a lot of things, um, and that's one reason why I want to do these labs um, to get a baseline of where I stand um, right now. I'm taking only the medications that I absolutely need to. That's the pain medication because pain management is. How do I say this nicely? Um, they are very busy with their work. Is the nicest way I can say that. And I'm only saying it nicely so that I can continue being a patient. Um, so I see that I've ran up half an hour. And I've covered the doctor's appointment, the alopecia, my legs, dizziness, and weight loss, um, which were everything I wanted to cover on this. Um, I have noted that I, I do want to be um, an advocate for those who um, have been floxed, know they have been, think they have been, are curious about it. Um, I have been doing a lot of research. Uh, my boyfriend has been doing a lot of research. Um, and I have found a doctor in this area, surprisingly, um, and I will be seeing him Tuesday, so I'll be able to fill him out and see, you know, as far as what he believes into it and what he, you know, what he recommends and everything. Um, so if you are out there and you see this video and you live in southern Indiana, um, just, um, don't come and stalk me. Um, I'm just going to let you know. I live in the New Albany area. Um, just to give you an idea um, of where I'm located. I mean, I put it on my, the location. So, I mean, it's not like it's a big secret. Um, but that radius area, um, if you live in that area, um, Louisville Metro. Southern Indiana area. Um, if you need help, comment, message me. Um, if you need information or whatever, um, you need an into a support group or whatever, I can get you help with that. Um, so just message or comment below, and I'll get back to you uh, as soon as I can.